Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese chip and ASML. The way of chip manufacturing is relatively simple, basically inseparable from lithography equipment. Manufacturers use ASML lithography machines to manufacture various chips, but China wants to break through the restrictions. China has developed a new lithography machine that can realize 22 nanometers process. What kind of lithography machine equipment is this? What other technical paths are there in chip manufacturing? China develops new generation lithography machine. The lithography machine plays an important role in the chip manufacturing process. The normal chip manufacturing process is to first obtain the IC chip design pattern and then use the lithography machine to expose the chip pattern on the wafer surface. It seems a very simple process, but it took human beings half a century to successfully develop to the high-end manufacturing level of 7 nanometers and 5 nanometers. A top-level EUV lithography machine needs the support of four major components, light source system, objective lens system, double workpiece table, and control system. In addition, the EUV lithography machine integrates 100,000 large and small parts, which is the most advanced lithography machine equipment that humans can currently create. The principle of the EUV lithography machine is not complicated. The target material is bombarded with a high-power laser, and the formed laser beam is emitted to play a role in the projection mask, and then projected to the lithography template to perform the wafer on the double workpiece stage. Exposure of the chip pattern it is very difficult to manufacture EUV lithography machines, and only ASML can produce them in the world. However, ASML is subject to rules and cannot freely ship EUV lithography machines. Therefore, at critical moments, we have to rely on ourselves to strengthen the research and development of independent technologies. What many people don't know is that China has developed a new type of lithography machine that can realize the 22 nanometers process. What kind of lithography machine is this? This kind of lithography machine is called a super-resolution lithography machine, which is a breakthrough device made by the Institute of Optoelectronics Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in 2019. The super-resolution lithography machine uses surface plasmon superdiffraction lithography to generate plasma with a shorter wavelength and realizes lithography on the surface of the wafer coated with photoresist. Unlike EUV lithography machines, which are widely used in the chip manufacturing industry, Super-resolution lithography machines have mainly provided the production of nanofunctional devices since they were successfully developed, and have produced supersurface imaging devices, large aperture thin film mirrors and other devices. Therefore, the super-resolution lithography machine has been put into use, and it is believed that it can be used in more industries after a greater technological breakthrough is achieved. Of course, the super-resolution lithography machine still has many areas to be improved. For example, in terms of production capacity, because it is a direct write type, it cannot achieve large-scale mass production. Compared with ASML's lithography machine, the production capacity still needs to be increased. In short, this is a long and arduous road. 
It took decades for foreign countries to achieve their current achievements. If they want to catch up in a short period of time, they will have to accumulate a lot of money in addition to redoubled efforts. What other technical paths are there in chip manufacturing? ASML's lithography machines are selling well in the global chip manufacturing market, and giants such as TSMC and Samsung need to find ASML to snap up. Although there is also a related lithography machine industry chain in China, and super-resolution lithography machines have been produced, but we still need to move forward in the future. From the perspective of semiconductor equipment, what technical paths are there for chip manufacturing? Perhaps the electron beam lithography machine of Zyvex company in the United States is also a direction. ASML's EUV lithography machine can realize 5 nanometers chip manufacturing, while the US company Zyvex uses an electron beam lithography machine to achieve a breakthrough in the manufacture of 0.7 nanometers chips, which is used in the field of quantum computers. This American company uses EBL electron beam lithography technology, which can achieve more precise manufacturing effects because of its higher precision than EUV lithography machines. ASML said that the next generation NAEUV lithography machine may be the last generation process. If ASML's lithography machine comes to an end, there will be other equipment for replacement in the future. According to the precision performance of the electron beam lithography machine, it may become a technical path. Of course, American electron beam lithography machines still have the disadvantages of low production capacity and limited application range. If these problems can be improved, maybe the global semiconductor industry will have a different pattern. In addition to these, Japan's Kyoxia and Canon's nanoimprint technology is also expected to become a substitute for traditional lithography machines. The so-called nanoimprinting is actually a stamping technology, which engraves the chip line diagram on the device template and then imprints it on the surface of the wafer. No projection mask is required in the whole process, and there is no requirement for the wavelength of the light source. The power consumption is low and the cost is also low. If it can be applied on a large scale, perhaps nanoimprint technology equipment will become another alternative to traditional lithography machines. Japanese companies such as Kyoxia and Canon are advancing high-end nanoimprinting technology, trying to form a benchmark with EUV lithography machines. Whether it is successful or not is still unknown, at least once you have an idea, you will have a direction to explore. From the perspective of human chip development, no matter what kind of chip manufacturing technology exploration is carried out by any country, it is beneficial to human technological civilization. But at the same time, we should also be clear that technology is not borderless. If we want to use advanced technology without being disturbed by the outside world, we still need to rely on ourselves. China has created a new lithography machine, which is a super-resolution lithography machine technology. Although it is mainly used in mature processes, there will be a second step after the first step. The pace of human exploration of chips has never stopped. There may be new stories after Moore's law. It is expected that domestic semiconductors will forge ahead and make greater progress. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.